Old mail carriers don't retire. They go to a post, post office utopia in Florida. 70 miles east of Tampa, in central Florida's rural citrus country, Nowcrest is America's only retirement community set up entirely for retired postal service mail carriers. No dogs allowed. The name Nowcrest stands for the National Association of Letter Carriers Retirement, Education, Security, and Training, but residents joke that it stands for the National Association of Letter Carriers at Rest, though a lot of playing goes on here too. Everything they need for retirement is right here. There are cottages, a bustling town square, a barber, mini golf course, tennis courts, and lagoons with alligators. The mailmen add their own personal mail-related decorations to their cottages. I did not want anything to happen to my mailbox. I am very proud of this mailbox. Yeah, Nowcrest, of course, has a post office and a profitable one. Retired mailmen write letters instead of email, and they stay away from competing shipping companies. I'm going to contribute to my own pension. I don't want them to run out of money. One thing is they love the, the bulk mail because that bulk mail pays their pension. You don't use email. You write letters? Yeah. My dinosaur is right outside here. They can be they they can be tough sometimes. <laughs> They're retired postal workers. But it's the not so profitable post offices that have Nowcrest residents fighting the good fight these days. They want to do their part to save the nation's battered and endangered postal service. The community is abuzz about the postal service woes, both managers and residents say. Why? Then they got to make some 80 or 90 year old woman go two or three miles to the next post office when all she used to have to do was go around the corner for so so some uh, politician could say oh look what I did I made this close this place down on the email the politicians the local senators or congressmen write letters to the editor in the local paper defending the post office want me to sign a petition need, need a to keep the post office alive yes <laughs> many they didn't just retire and and move away from the whole scene. It's all part of it. It's interwoven in their life. Some Nowcrest residents see the fight as a way to recognize the hardships they faced over the years. But one boy attacked my leg and grabbed hold while his brother got a curtain rod and decided to hit me with it. And, and they thought that was just all kinds of fun. Let's beat up the letter carrier. The dog was within inches of me and <laughs> scared the blue blazes out of me. It had weather to deal with, right, yeah, and took a few tumbles in the ice and the snow, and that's one of the reasons I retired, but I didn't want to take any more tumbles. I have a very bad back. I have one bad knee. If you carry mail on one side, you end up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Through rain, sleet, snow, and now retirement, these former mail carriers say they are offering one more sacrifice to save their legacy. This is Jennifer Levitz from Nowcrest, Florida, for the Wall Street Journal.